Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are talking about how AMC is saving millions, the huge AMC buys, how short volume has doubled, and many more in this video. First, we're taking a look at this from Adam Aaron. Wednesday's interest rate rate cut by the Federal Reserve of 50 basis point should save AMC about $10 million of interest expense per annum, giving us an extra $10 million or so of cash savings each year. This is such very good and much welcome news for AMC. And so no one has a crystal ball, but wouldn't it be helpful for AMC if the Fed will continue to reduce interest rates by another 25, 50, 75, 100, etc., or more basis points in the near term future? Each such 25 basis points Fed rate reduction could save AMC another approximately $5 million of cash interest expense per year as well. So obviously, this is very good news. And we talked about how freeing up cash for AMCs has multiple different purposes. Firstly, by freeing up cash, it means that we have obviously more cash to either invest in more revenue streams or pay off the debt. And that itself is something that's already good. And everyone's focus has been on the debt issue. So the very fact we are saving up more cash means we can pay off more debt. The second thing is obviously understanding that by having more cash, we are seeing how AMC is going to survive longer. All these talks of how AMC is running out of cash, yet we're seeing AMC do all of these things that are saving them cash, that are generating them cash. These are all things that kills the short thesis. And this is what we are seeing right now. We've recently talked about, of course, the restructure of debt with AMC and how that's already saved millions of interest as well. And now we're just seeing this on top. And especially with what we are expecting going into the near future, what the economy is saying, what kind of the market is factoring in, it's very likely we are going to be seeing more of uh, federal reserve rate cuts as well and so that's obviously going to give amc even more cash and this is something that's going to obviously help us in the long run because by saving cash from this we can pay off debt which saves even more cash um, from the interest expense and it just is a snowball effect and that's of course something that will be very impactful for amc you can see here AMC is doing everything it can business-wise to improve, but the stock is manipulated AF by corrupt bankers like Goldman Sachs. And this is what we talked about. Firstly, we're seeing this. So how is AMC improving business? Well, first, we've already talked about whether it's with this. Now, this is something that AMC obviously can't control, but we've seen with the debt restructure, we've seen with the film distribution. These are all things that are allowing AMC to either save interest or make more money and this is also another thing amazon prime members can get free popcorn at amc theaters through the prime premiere program where prime members can get a free small popcorn and small drink at the theater with the prime premiere ticket now this is obviously something that will boost the overall sale the boost the overall traffic going towards amc and like i said these are the things that is helping amc we talked about recently we've seen many news with amc and we talked about how in particular that these news on their own isn't something that's going to suddenly allow AMC to squeeze. But one by one, these things are what's adding on to the factor of how we can see the squeeze. Because of all of these things coming in together, we're allowing AMC to obviously grow even bigger. And by growing bigger, what we're doing is that we're beating the short sellers. We're keeping them trapped and we're seeing them having to put more money to create more synthetics, having them to be more over leveraged in order to suppress AMC. And another thing you can see here, this, here's why investors should retain AMC Entertainment stock right now. And this is a news article that we are seeing. So it's very surprising to be looking at this, but you can see and understand why they're saying this. AMC is likely to benefit from a recovering box office, operational efficiency, and innovative content. So firstly, I want to say is that obviously for me personally, I don't think it's likely. I think it's definitely that they are def benefiting from this box office. Remember, they are also the biggest benefactor. But something that I do want to focus on is the operational efficiency in which we have seen and the innovative content like we talked about the film distribution that's something that is innovative for the industry what we also talked about was because of the merchandise because of the food and be beverage everything that amc is doing is ahead of its industry and that's something that knows and tells us that amc is obviously a worthwhile investment you can see here Factors driving AMC stock, rebounding box office, the second half of 2024 signals a significant box office revival with June marking a key turning point. AMC set an all-time monthly adjusted EBITDA record for June, driven by the box office success of Disney's Inside Out 2. So like I said, there are many factors and this is what we talked about here. AMC is doing everything can business-wise to improve. But 
the stock is manipulated and here's where we can see it so you can see firstly the buy order imbalance for amc and this is over 2 million shares now when you see this and you see that amc is only up what we can see here one percent it's very very odd now we can see if only we want spooed every day this will be enough buying to move the stock even with the dark pools and you can see right here the layering attack on amc now what i'm showing you here is just a screenshot from one particular day remember this is a screenshot you can find almost every single day on amc the firms that are doing this are the same firms every single day and they are just continuously doing this in order to suppress the price of amc and this is why we say this amc is doing everything they can business wise like we've shown with this like we've shown with this and even like we've shown with the 50 basis points in terms of how it's allowing its company to improve but the only reason why it isn't going up is because it's manipulated even when we see a buy side imbalance of 2 million because we are always constantly getting spoofed we're not seeing the price of amc move up and another reason you can see this is you know shit's about to get real when short volume starts blasting off and you can see that amc's short sale volume doubles and we're up we're plus 125.89 percent and this is what we are seeing. so like i said you will see many many factors in terms of what's affecting amc what's um, you know stopping the growth of amc in terms of showing and mirroring its actual um, real value you know what's uh, what's manipulating what's suppressing not allowing us to actually grow these are all the reasons why and this is why we talked about the very fact that they are doing this shows that they're obviously worried about amc it shows that they're scared about amc and that they need to continuously suppressing this stock you know another big thing you can see more big orders coming in for after hours for amc and you guys can see here the 350,000, 2.21 116 113 and this is something that it's obviously becoming more and more common right now where we're seeing massive orders for amc coming through after hours so there's many reasons for this first we talked about this this is because people firstly realize that AMC is just a good investment. As always, none of this is ever financial advice, so do take a look at salt, make sure you do your own due diligence and research. But like I talked about, people understand that AMC is a good investment. And evidently, we can see that because when you take a look at whether it's the retail ownership from the OBV, wherever you take a look at the institutional ownership from the filings, you can see that they are all going up, meaning that people are not selling AMC or are in fact only buying in to AMC. Secondly, the reason why they're doing it after hours is because they understand that they don't want to affect the price. What we have right now is a series of bad actors where potentially some are buying into amc because they want to lend out the shares to their fellow short sellers and some just doesn't want to affect the price because they don't want to affect the fellow short sellers and so this is what's obviously very worrying and impactful for amc but like we've seen with the dark pool like we've seen the after hours the very fact we are seeing that buy order to coming in shows they understand the potential of amc shows they understand the value of AMC. And for now, that is enough for us because evidently they are starting to obviously show signs of weaknesses of not being able to continuously suppress AMC, especially with what's happening in the market. And another thing from, so this is from the GME side, hot take, Games are diluting to not only raise cash, raise floor of their company value and take advantage of the price, but forcing an algorithm controlling the price to react quicker instead of joining out for months between high and low. So I'm curious to what you guys think about this for the fellow GME investors. And it's obviously showing about how they're forcing algorithm. Now, the reason why I'm including this video is firstly, it's to talk about it with the GME followers, but also it's to talk about an understanding, like we talked about the relationship between AMC and GME. Like I said, when either one takes off the other one will take off whether it's amc first whether it's gme first will both go off and so with this by obviously forcing the algorithms and taking up their cash this is something that is obviously going to speed up the process and you can see this half of gme market cap is cash fyi 30 percent of berkshire halfway market cap is cash and this usually signals warren is preparing for a shopping season when he believes stocks will start being available at their discounts on valuations not far in the future and so we talked about it's very very dangerous for gme to have so much cash in um hand right now especially with no debt 
because they don't they're not doing anything that's eating into their money kind of quite big obviously they still got their normal expenses but the 4.2 billion and that is sitting in the bank that is collecting interest is something that it's already doing very well especially understanding the opportunities that are about to be upon us if GME is able to use their cash, their $4.2 billion of cash correctly, and they put it in and allocate it in the right places, they obviously are able to make huge returns, which then allows them to grow even bigger. If, for example, we see something like where the COVID situation happened and the whole market dropped and you put $4.2 in, they can easily come out with more than $10 plus billion. Obviously, like I said, it's very dependent on how they use it, but you can see the opportunity that is there. And if GME were to be a company with $10 billion and that they have the decision for what path they want to obviously go down towards, then that's a very dangerous thing for the shorts and that's something that will allow us to obviously have an edge you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time